Okay, I've got a uh, F700 Mitsubishi here and I'm going to show you how to hook up the speed potentiometer or speed pot. Um, the camera here is now, we're going to show you the two screws on the most of the uh, small sizes of drives and this is what we have here, just a small horsepower in our demo unit. I'm going to go ahead and remove the keypad. I'm going to, these two screws are already loosened. We're going to go ahead and open the cover going to the left here and then I'm going to go ahead and lift the flap and hopefully right there we got a good shot of the um, markings these markings on the flap correspond to the terminal block on the control side of the, this inverter drive and the ones we're going to be focused with right now is going to be terminal 10 terminal 2 and terminal 5 these three terminals correspond to the speed pot the terminal 2 is the wiper or the center wire on the speed potentiometer terminals 10 and terminals 5 are the outer two wires and typically once you land those you, the speed pot turns in a clockwise fashion and it should be increasing in speed if it is not just simply remove the wires that go to terminal 10 and terminal 5 and you can see the colors we have here marked out on our drive we have a black white and red shielded cable and um, over to here I'm going to go ahead and shut that and here is our speed pot on the unit itself now one thing to keep in mind is also with this setup you will need to add a jumper or a switch to start stop the drive using terminals STF and SD. Okay, As you can see we went ahead and put the cover back on and we uh, plugged in the parameter unit and of course I've got the power on it this time and I'm going to go ahead and reiterate what I talked about. We have a little toggle switch. This one in this particular case is going to STF and SD and that will give the start command. I will apply it now and our motor is starting to run and you can see that our speed pot as I turn it up the wheel or the motor is increasing in fashion and starting to speed up and as I take the speed pot back down in the counterclock direction you'll notice the motor comes back and starts to begin to slow and again the start command STF to SD if I go ahead and apply that it takes away the total start command 